everyone welcome back to the channel and you have here on your screens counterside so it was actually launched yesterday for southeast asia open beta so i have been playing this game since yesterday trying it out um see how it feels before i give my own impressions of the game but again um together with my impressions i will actually give you guys a quick start guide for most of you beginners out there who just started the game so if you can see more or less when you start the game you will be able to have re-rolls so for each account that you have um there is actually a re-roll but it's actually limited to to 10 to sorry to 30 re-rolls so um if you try to you know bind your account um more or less that is it for that account so you have facebook twitter you have their google google emails and line so more or less um i'm actually right off the bat discouraging rerolls because first and foremost you will have to get you know uh primarily one character with which is kyle Wong. so kyle Wong is actually your top priority in your your recruit or your summons so based on my experience i re-rolled for four accounts yesterday in the 30 re-rolls that i had for each account more or less kyle was there even multiple times so again the the what do you call this the other the, the other good characters that you want if you don't want kyle would be so this is uh sorry this is Shaolin. So more or less Shaolin is actually good as well. Um, you have here in terms of SSR another good character to get as well for the reroll is also Esterosa. So more or less um, those are those are the, the three and one ad, uh, other uh, hero which is Elizabeth Pendragon. Where is Elizabeth um, Pendragon? Here she is. So Elizabeth Pendragon is actually good. So four SSRs that you can actually roll for. But my recommendation would fall on Kyle uh where is kyle kyle where are you okay kyle wong so kyle wong is the strongest one um for each reroll that you have for the game um it's actually 30 and you are guaranteed an ss one ssr per reroll so you may every time you change your reroll you always get an ssr so more or less those are the four that i recommend for the for the reroll also once you're done with your reroll more or less you'll get um 10 free recruit so the 10 free recruit you will be able to spend them here in this banner so once you're once after the 30 um re-recruit you'll be taken here for a 10 free recruit and also once you have once you're once you're done you'll be going to your mail and you'll be getting also um 10 uh free, 10 recruit tickets as well so that's roughly th 30 rerolls 10 free pulls and 10 recruitment tickets that you can actually make sure that you your roster is built up so with with kyle actually you could you could look for evelyn so evelyn is is one is one um character or hero that is actually good for your account. She's actually a healer, a uh, very good support character. Um, another another th um, SR that you would like to look for is Riot Farrier. So just in case that you roll for your, you know, if you have rerolls and if you happen to get this guy, this guy is actually a good uh, defensive type character. So who else for SR? So more or less, those are um, Hilde is actually good as well. She she will be in your account already. Um, who else? This girl Sylvia is actually good because um, of her uh, what do you call this? 
of her ultimate skill as well. Okay, so more or less, she is actually free uh, once you join the game. So just open your open your mail and you'll get her for free as well. So those are those are more or less the starting heroes that you will need um, to be able to more or less uh, finalize your rerolls, your rolls, and also by the way, guys, I'll show you something. I'll show you a counter side tier list guide more or less for every position a tier list for every position let's go to that okay thank you to mr guider so this is actually an, an uh, a updated tier list for the southeast asian um counter side open beta so i actually just found this today and more or less this is actually very good and i found it very informative in terms of in terms of again if you guys are really interested in doing a reroll outside of the 30 rerolls then be my guest you can actually um you can actually read through this guide in terms of the reroll but also there's a best best ssr and sr characters here list so overall good ssr characters are here so at least you'll have a more or less who to retain who to look for and be able to keep your keep your you know your list tighter in terms of who shall I focus on, who should I discard. So SSR, SR, R, and M. Even N char characters are actually good. So you have R and N here. So also the list has um, um, tier list for ranger roles. You have here a tier list for sniper role characters. You have here a list for striker role characters. And the list goes on. Supporter roles, tower siege tier list, counters, um, defender role tier list. So again, there's a counter side reroll guide here if you are interested in pursuing rerolling. But I would suggest that you don't go through with the reroll because you're only after Kyle and a few SRs um that you have to get as i mentioned before okay so more or less i will put a link in this uh, site in the description of my video so that you can open this and reference this when you build your initial team after the re-roll for your beginner comps um again i would suggest that you do extra pulls for the recruit um, here so pull extra actually every day for I think that's 20 20 22 days you'll be able to get 10 free recruits every day for this banner alone so it's actually your choice whether you want to pull on this banner again with this currency so because because part of part of uh, what they call this part of uh, the reward system for the tasks you you'll be getting employment contracts so i actually was able to pull several ssrs because of the employment contracts but you may also want to pull on this banner because of young harem so young harem is actually one of the ssrs that has are is, is being sought after try to more or less pull for this banner for the employment contract and for this one you use the 10 times free recruit every day for 22 days or 23 days if you are a beginner i would suggest that you you know at first glance this menu is actually very intimidating because there are a lot of buttons wherein you have to click something so we're in day two already so complete all see so you just have to claim your rewards here and there so notices you have to read attendance there are attendance bonuses see so you just have to log in every day don't forget these um, mission bonuses as well there are uh, some some of them you have to you have to uh what do you call this you have to try to play other stages this one and you have the shop i'll i'll discuss the shop in a different episode but more or less, if you are a beginner, try to focus on this one, your main main tab, and also try to 
finish this one the mid-sized firm the the this this panel you have to finish this one daily uh, and try to complete some of the missions or some of the, the tasks here because it gives you rewards don't forget about this so but let's say for example in this triangle um more or less you should the, the ones that you, you should focus on is the other one so this is only for management of heroes collection um this also gives you this the quartz once there you completely summon them but ultimately you have to focus your attention on this side of that triangle or that pyramid so you actually start with your normal project progression would be doing the content mainstream this is actually your main story so you have to you have to do your mainstream to unlock several several content so this is actually dependent as well in mainstream so this actually gives you um rewards once you play this but again you have to open up your mainstream again your story will be able to open up content so once you've opened up content normally you can get better items level up your heroes or characters and then you could become stronger so more or less this is your main focus once you're a beginner mainstream supply operation simulation so this actually you have to clear depending on how good your 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 team is so your progression is dependent on how good you are already so side story this is also a battle content um counter case again um you need to more or less see um level up your heroes or characters so again it's a slow progression it starts with your mainstream it opens up a lot of possibilities level up your heroes so once you're done with operations so this is mostly your content so next would be again your squad of course um building your squad as i mentioned earlier four around eight so that you could separate the four you could use it fully fully maximized already build your squad um according to synergy and on what they bring as well base it on the tier list that i gave you gauntlet is actually your pvp so your rank battle and strategy battle so this one i am being handed a lot of punishment here because again the game is still you know young and of course there are a lot of people who are who are playing this um and buying uh, cur uh buying items to have their progression faster for me uh for now i'm free to play so more or less you also be you know you won't progress as much in pvp so you have to and recruit again as you saw earlier recruitment strategy that i taught you then you will go to hq so hq is actually where you will be able to tinker with your heroes so you have here implant so stat increases skill training is also increase the skills damage of the skill that a hero has your limit break is actually um the increasing of the stars per hero so also additional stats as well then your workshop would be for your gear crafting of gear gear enhancement so additional stats and gear tuning i haven't used this yet for your hangar this is your ship construction so more or less you'll be uh, early on you'll be given i think one ship then you'll be able to get a ticket for where is it okay i actually get the i, I actually got the left near in a ticket that you that actually the game will give you in terms of progression it it actually will be in the form of a rewards or a task or sorry a rewards from a specific task so choose a glyph near when it tells you to choose a ship because this actually the ship is very good in terms of support for your assault and 
for your CEO's office, you have here Scout. For this is, I think, fragments of uh, heroes. I haven't checked this out the lifetime contract yet. So because I don't have one. But usually if you want to level up your characters to levels. Let's say for example, I'm going to level up. Um, who? I'm trying to level up Hilde. So you have to spend this one. These are negotiation materials. So let's level her up to level 50. So more or less loyalty actually should be increased as well so um, make sure that you go above and beyond to to fill up loyalty as well so at 50 you start negotiation then more or less the ceo is actually a robot so it's ward the robot so a little bit of a conversation okay always offer more uh 30 percent more because again Credit cost is actually 30% more. Loyalty gain is plus 50 and a great success chance of 60% that they will accept the contract. So offer. So more or less, she will she would accept the contract plus an increase of two for loyalty. Okay. So that is a sample um enhancement. So also if you click the the icon for the heroes you will be taken to these a description on what type there are counters are usually the heroes that you have the soldiers are usually units or are usually henchmen mechs are of course mechs and other character types so don't be confused because at first i was i was you know i was uh, confused with the word counter but it actually refers to the specialist that you have so or this, your specialist would be your 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 heroes or characters that you have. Okay, and one and one last tip, guys. In case that you have extra Eternium, do not actually accept it right away because your Eternium fills up quickly, especially if you level up to a certain level. Let's say, for example, let's go out. Once you level up um, here. More or less, more or less, this gives the game gives you a certain number of let's say two thousand level up gift. So the level up gift is actually every time you level up. So don't accept this until you need it, because again, you might end up having a lot of um, Ethereum, Ether Ethereum, <laughs> okay, Ethereum. That you won't be able to use and you won't be able to consume so it's a waste of resources so keep it in your inbox uh, until you need them for content to go over one tip as well do not disregard duplicates because duplicates can ensure that you can actually put one kyle in one team in another Kyle and another team. So you can use duplicates in, in, in separate teams. So that is the advantage of getting duplicates in this game. So very lucky in terms of my pulls. Again, you don't have to spend for this game. This game is very free to play friendly. And this game is very enjoyable. And it actually, I have been spending a lot of time with this. And I will continue to give you more um, content for this game together with Exos Hero. Okay, guys, so that is it. Any comments and suggestions um, for this uh, beginner's guide, please put them in the comment section below. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do. Around 79% of my viewers haven't subscribed yet, so please, if you could subscribe, this would help my channel, and I thank you in advance for helping me out. Okay, guys, take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.